How's it going guys? Welcome to a little rant video, basically. That's what this is gonna be. Well, maybe not so much of a rant, just an educational video. But right, this is CSGO if you didn't know. Um, I am not a high rank, not at all. I am silver 4, that's quite a low rank. But you know, I enjoy the game, it's fun, I'm not too bad at it. And then, this is my favourite gun, right here. The SSG, right? It is a really cheap, and I think it's better than the AWP for one reason. Say, okay, say you're coming from, you're spawning on T-side, coming from T-spawn, and then you're running through here, um, your teammates have already, you know this basically, because your teammates have already come in, you, but you know there's obviously going to be someone on a site. With the AWP, what you'd have to do is you'd have to peek, shoot, go back, peek, shoot, just do little peeks and shoots, you can't, you don't want to spend, you don't want to expose your body for too long, but um, you can't exactly do anything else. That's the only way you're gonna actually be able to see if anyone's there by peeking. Do not do this with the SSG. So many people, so many people I've played with, don't realise an incredible function the SSG has. The SSG, why I prefer it to the orb, is because look, right when you move, you can see the crosshair goes all blurry. When you jump, it goes blurry, but then right, right at the tip of your jump. It goes solid for a second, doesn't it? That is because when you jump, when you get to the peak of your jump, for some reason the SSG is 100% accurate. So what you want to do is, say you're in pit, instead of peeking like you would with an AWP, you would jump and just shoot, right? When you get to the top of your jump, you shoot. It's really handy, it's not just there that you'd use it, you'd use it in lots of places. Say you've got someone watching long doors down there, you're over here, you want to um, keep short. You know someone's that short, what you want to do? You want to jump shot. You just want to shoot them as soon as they come around. You don't want to stand on here because then they can shoot you. If you're jumping like this, they can only see you for a couple of seconds. Then you can like move up here, jump shot them from over here. It's much, much easier than um, just exposing your whole body. Safer, actually. Safer should be the word I should be using. So it's much safer to use the SSG than it is the AWP most of the time. Even though it's not a one-shot headshot. It's, uh, oh no, it is a one shot headshot, sorry. It's only a one shot kill if you hit them in the head or neck, I believe. Everywhere else, it's going to take two hits. But you know, just one little shot with that, and then you just get your pistol out and finish them off with your pistol. That works well. I do recommend the P250 because it does do a lot of damage. It's, um, P250 is by far my um, favourite pistol, mainly because it is one shot to the head, close range. That's the exact same as the Deagle. The Deagle cost 800, the P250 cost 300. It is, um, I think it's one shot at any range if you don't have armor on, and two shot headshot at long range if they do have armor on. So it's a really high damaging pistol, and it can shoot quite fast. The recoils, well, there's not too much of it. So I highly recommend it because it's on both sides too, so it's quite cheap. It's on both sides. Um, so I just recommend it for that really. If you get good with the P250, it's not like you can only use it on T-side like the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Tech 9, I think. I think it's the Tech 9 which is only on T-side and I really like that because it's got a lot of bullets. I hate reloading. Also, one more thing is no scopes are very, very accurate. Well, not very, very accurate, but no scopes are accurate. Say I no scope, right? You can, you see where that bullet went? It went right there, right where that does. If I do that again, just goes a tiny bit. Usually, with the SSG, it just goes a bit to the left of where you're aiming. But as you can see, it's not like Call of Duty, they'll be like flinging everywhere. They'll be going any direction. The um, Encounter Strike, no scopes with the SSG are really accurate. And if, oh, ah, I just missed that then. I wanted to get the auto sniper. So, no scoping is not a bad tactic, as you can see. It doesn't really matter what range you're doing it at. Most of the time, they're going to go into a really close cluster. I don't know where that other one went, though. That one's a mystery. But, so say, you just need to panic shoot, basically, and quick scoping isn't your thing. You just, just no scope. Just look at the person and no scope. It's actually a really good tactic, and if you want to see some of the pros do it, it is ridiculous how good they are at it. You see, um... You know Guardian Ed plays for Na'Vi, if you didn't know that's the team I support, because yeah, Na'Vi stickers everywhere. Um, there was one match, I don't remember who he was against, but he was utilized, he bought the SSG because he just liked sniping. He jumped shot, got someone, came over here, waited for the next person and then just, whoop, just no scoped him. 
it's crazy. So yeah, no scoping is not all luck based. It is quite quite accurate sometimes. Once you get used to it though, like once you learn where you, um, crosshair is, while she can't actually see it. Uh, so should have got that chicken then. It gets much much easier. Um, also, say you're really new to this game and you're here in your little circle. You're on CT side on Dust2 and someone's like, can you boost me to mid? Not mid, sorry. Can you boost me to short? What you want to do, all they, all they want you to do is just jump up here, jump onto this little green thing, stand in the corner and just crouch. Then they'll jump on your head and they'll go up there so then they'll be able to surprise the terrorists quite quickly. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, one thing. Just If you're on CT side, it's basically pointless for you to try and challenge the people um, who are sniping on T side because they have a much bigger advantage of the fact that they get there first they have much more cover your entire body is open so yeah I don't recommend trying to challenge snipers orpers whilst you're on this side so yeah you can do it on that side fine that side you got a much much better advantage also um, is there anything else yeah there's one more thing I can think of um, this lots of people don't really use scaffolding for some reason if one person's looking at tunnels, you want to keep mid, nobody really looks up here. So it's a nice place to um, hold off mid and anyone coming from CT spawn to B. Because they won't, if you're walking through here, the first place you're going to check is definitely not on, not right in that little corner. Because you can't really see much of the person when they're up there. So that's a nice place to hold off mid. One last thing is if you have... Ooh, MP7. If you have a stat track weapon like this, just record how many kills you have, and then say you only want kills from competitive, competitive games on it. What you want, and you've already had some kills on deathmatch on it by accident, so you want to reset it. Um, what, and you don't want to have to buy a new one. What you have to do is go into the Steam Marketplace. Say this is a Battle Scarred Abyss. I prefer it to the Factory New Abyss by far. Um, it's worth about 17p. So what you want to do is you want to put that on the marketplace for about 50 pounds. And then, because no one's going to buy it 15, for £50, obviously, it's not worth anywhere near that. Um, you just list it for £50, you take it off, and then it will reset. Your kills will be reset, they'll be back to zero. That's because as soon as you put a stat track weapon on the marketplace, um, the kills get reset on it. You can do that with any gun. If it's worth £50, don't put it up for £50, put it up for like £150. Just put it for a price no one's going to pay for it. Um, it works with pistols too, which is what I'm going to do with these, and there is going to be a series on my channel sometime soon. Um, I think I'll be getting, trying to get 100 kills with each one of these, like this stat track P250 Supernova, which, oh wow, I love this camo so much, look how beautiful it is. Just appreciate it for a second. And the other side, yeah, it's a really nice looking gun, and with this one, um, so, oops. Well. That shocked me, I didn't actually mean to press G then. But, um, so I'll be getting 100 kills with both of these guns um, in a series coming up soon. Thank you guys for watching this random rant from someone who's not very good at the game and just enjoys it a lot. Basically, the thing, the main point I want to get across is, please, jump shot with the SSG. Don't move while shooting with any other anything other than a pistol, really. Uh, if you move him with a assault rifle, just look how bad the spray is, it goes literally everywhere, but if you're standing still, they're nice little collective things. And you shouldn't hold down shoot for too long, you should probably just shoot in little bursts. So then it's more, much, much more accurate. So hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Imploding Camel. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want. Give me some CSGO tips if you got any, because I kind of need them, I'm not very good at this game yet. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.